If your iPhone feels sluggish after updating to iOS 26, like all of a sudden, right? Trust me, you're not the only one. Social media is flooded with people complaining that their phones have turned into snails. Apps freeze, animations stutter, and the battery seems to evaporate. In today's video, we're going to deep dive into why this is happening and show you exactly how to fix it. First, let's set the stage real quick. iOS 26 officially rolled out on September 15th, 2025. Apple introduced a bold new design called Liquid Glass and a host of AI-powered features. The update looks stunning. Glass-like effects, fluid transitions, and dynamic color shifts. But not everyone loves it. Online forums, Instagram posts, and TikTok clips show users with older or mid-range iPhones experiencing serious lag. Their phones feel slow, animations are choppy, and battery life takes a major hit. So what's really going on under the hood? According to Apple's own release notes and coverage by Mac Rumors, major iOS updates trigger a lot of background tasks. After you hit install, your iPhone isn't just rebooting, it's re-indexing your data, downloading new assets, updating apps, and optimizing files for search. Apple even warns you that you might notice a temporary drop in battery life and performance right after a big update. This is normal and it usually settles down after a few days. On top of that, those liquid glass animations look pretty, but they use extra processing power. Make Tech Easier points out that glossy transitions and motion effects can make older or non-pro iPhones feel sluggish. The GPU has to work harder. So if your phone isn't the latest model, all those fancy effects could be the culprit. The good news is you don't have to live with the lag. There are several simple settings you can change to make your iPhone feel snappier right now. First, reduce the motion. Open settings, then click on accessibility. Next, click motion and toggle on reduce motion. This cuts the fancy zoom effects in favor of simpler fades. You'll feel the difference immediately. App switching and home screen gestures become almost instant. Next, head back to accessibility, select display and text size, and enable reduce transparency, and also increase contrast. This removes those translucent backgrounds and makes menus solid, which is easier on your eyes and lighter on the graphics processor. Pair that with turning off autoplay effects and messages, so I know, unfortunately, no more surprise confetti or those balloons using resources in the background. Also, make sure your apps are up to date. Developers often release updates shortly after a new iOS version to fix performance issues. A quick restart can help too. It clears lingering processes and gives your phone a fresh start. One more important tip, patience. I know that sounds annoying, but Apple says the temporary temporary slowdown after a major update should improve on its own. Those background tasks, indexing, downloading assets, updating apps, usually finish within a few days. If you can, wait a week before making drastic judgments about your device's performance. Many users actually report that lag and battery drain return to normal once the heavy lifting is done. It's also worth understanding why some iPhones struggle more than others. Liquid glass seems designed with the latest Pro models in mind. These phones have more powerful chips and GPUs, so they can handle the animations better. Mid-range or older devices don't have that extra headroom. That doesn't necessarily mean that you need a new phone, it just means you should tweak your settings to match your hardware. You might have seen that one short video suggesting you turn on reduced transparency to fix animation lag, which is a great tip and it definitely helps, but as we've seen earlier, you should also reduce motion, disable unnecessary effects, effects, update your apps, and give your phone a few days to settle in. Combining these steps make a world of a difference. Finally, keep an eye out for software updates. Apple regularly releases point updates like iOS 26.1, 0 0.2, etc, etc, to address early performance and battery bugs. As Apple continues to optimize the liquid glass design, you can expect improvements in smoothness and efficiency. So to recap real quick, if your iPhone is laggy after updating updating to iOS 26, don't panic. A temporary slowdown is normal while your phone completes background tasks. Reduce motion, reduce transparency, update your apps, restart your phone, and give it a few days to adapt. 
And remember, Apple is continuously refining the software. If these tips helped your iPhone feel faster, hit that like button and subscribe for more practical iOS advice. Drop a comment with your own iOS 26 experience, whether your phone is buttery smooth or a bit of a slug. And that way we can see how iOS 26 is performing for everybody else. I'll see you guys in the next video.